Winter Jam is the country's largest Christian music tour. In 2020, it was recording artist Billy Ballinger's Big Break. His single, Tree and the Nails, is his first hit. You call me chosen, you call me loved, you don't see broken, you see more than Tree and the Nails, it's such a powerful song. Thank you, I just feel Right, that's a true honor to get to be able to present a song like that. So many times we feel like we are broken, we've missed it, we've messed up. But I think, I think what's important about that song is, is that we get to talk about what Jesus did, not what we failed. When you think about failure in your life, looking back, it's a different story. Yeah. That was rough. My memory of that was rough. Billy was raised in a broken home and as a teenager began running away. I just felt like I was running away to freedom each time. But then you'd get there and the grass wasn't greener on the other side, you know. Um, I just wanted, as a kid, you know, I just wanted to have some peace. Billy was placed in a residential facility, and for a while, things began looking up. That's when he met Jody. We were in choir together. Like, the boys wanted to see the girls, the girls wanted to see the boys, and choir was a place to do that. The couple's relationship grew quickly. When they were 17, Billy and Jody left the group home and Jody became pregnant. Though they were married shortly after, the Ballingers fell into the wrong crowd and began selling drugs. I had great opportunities in front of me. I just chose for whatever reason to take the wrong path and it cost me dearly. Billy and Jody were involved in the theft of a nine millimeter handgun and cash. They stashed the money at their home before a SWAT team busted down their door. You're laying on the floor in handcuffs yeah. and your daughter and Jody are in the next room. What's going through your mind? That is the moment where you think it. How could I think I would never get caught? You know, that's that moment you have a wake up call. I was just thinking, oh my goodness, like it's all caught up to me. It, this is all caught up to us and what do we do now? The couple was arrested and their daughter was taken into foster care. While on bond, Billy got a job in construction. His boss, a Christian, invited the young couple to church. I remember showing up that night with the best I had, a pair of old work pants, a ripped up Nike t-shirt. I did leave my hat in the car, <laughs> came in, and I was gonna hide in the back because I felt like needles were sticking in my body all over when I walked in. And then just before we went to trial, one night at a service there, they did an altar call. I knew I'd hit rock bottom and I was like, I need God. Billy and Jody committed their lives to God, but still had to face trial. They were both sentenced to six years in prison. I was just heartbroken. You just feel like my wife, I can't hold her, I can't be with her, what have I done? You want to put everything in rewind, you know, reverse and redo everything, but you can't. Billy faithfully sent Jody letters telling her about his love for God and a desire to change. He changed so much that I'm like, it, wow, he is like really changed. It was like a brand new man. I mean, he was not that old person whatsoever. And I credit the word of God to that because I was just saturating myself with it. It changed me. I didn't change me. It changed the way I thought. It changed everything I did. And I said, I'm not gonna be violent no more. I'm not gonna party no more. I'm not interested in the drugs anymore. I just wanted my family back. After the Ballingers served two years in prison, the State Board of Appeals granted them a hearing. They brought me and my wife back to that same judge and she looked at us and she said, we have decided to suspend the rest of your sentence. And we went home that day. Billy and Jody were reunited with their daughter and resolved to live for God. And when I got out of prison, uh, I started going to the nursing homes with my church and preaching. I had so much word in me, I'd just go somewhere and explode, you know? <laughs> and. Um, but then I joined the praise team. And then that desire started to come. And then when I would sing, somebody would say, there's something there. Over the years, Billy recorded seven albums and in 2020 joined the Winter Jam lineup. Today, the Ballingers travel the country sharing their story of God's grace, told best through his song, Tree in the Nails. The tree in the nails. The music becomes a vehicle for the message. God has truly redeemed us. It isn't like he just redeemed us to go to heaven. 
is the fact that he cares about our entire life. It really is true. It doesn't matter how broken it was. If you're still breathing, you still got a chance. That's what that song does. It's saying right now is your moment. That's what that song says to me. And I, pr I pray that's what that song says to the people that hear it.